Hi, my name is Daniela. I teach, I write, I advise on design. Design is my passion. Design is everywhere. Design improves our lives, defines our taste, and determines our surroundings. It can even broadcast who we are and who we aspire to be. Here are my latest thoughts on design. What do you think when I say cork? You're probably thinking of wine bottles. And that makes sense because 60% of all cork production is for the wine industry. Wine stoppers are made in many unusual shapes, diverging from the typical stopper. Perhaps when I say cork, you think of shoes. That would also make sense because one of the hottest trends right now is the cork wedge. I love wine and shoes, but I want to talk about cork for its design uses and sustainability. Cork is the outer bark of a special oak tree. After each harvest, the cork tree fully regenerates its precious bark and can be harvested over and over again until the tree reaches approximately 200 years of age. Cork is elastic, waterproof, fireproof, and buoyant. Most cork today comes from Portugal. Cork has been used for progressive furniture for decades, utilized by some of the greatest figures in the history of modern design. One of them was the Viennese-born Paul Frankel, who I consider one of the fathers of modern American design. In the 50s, Frankel created a series of furniture for Johnson Company of Grand Rapids, Michigan that had tables of bleached cork tops over wooden legs. Frankel Dwight chose cork tiles to clad the bathrooms of his masterpiece Falling Water, which is considered the world's most celebrated modern house. While its image is well known and its powerful waterfalls have captured the imagination of generations of design lovers, you would have to visit this dream house in order to be able to peek into the bathrooms. All the bathrooms are made of cork tiles, floor to ceiling, and the patina that developed over the years just add to its beauty. Cork is perfect for bathrooms because it is waterproof and has natural antifungal properties. One recent product is bathroom seats at the Conron shop. A new generation of designers are excited about the possibilities of cork. In fact, I would like to say that we are in the middle of a great cork revival. The company Yem and Hart, for example, would recycle your wine bottle corks into floor tiles. A couple of years ago, Vitra began a series of limited edition cork pieces designed by Jasper Morrison, whose minimalist furniture and bowls is called the Cork Family. These pieces are cutting edge and considered of high design as much as Morrison's legendary minimalism. When I visited the Maker's Market Fair in Queens, I have met designer Daniel Michalik, who works exclusively with cork. He has developed a way to make cork panels flexible by slashing the surface into repetitive patterns. He tend to use recycled leftover cork from the bottle stopper industry. Cork deserves attention. It is responsible, recyclable, and plentiful. Cork can be formed into fantastic shapes, fitting into a green lifestyle and design.